David, thanks for taking the time to, uh, to talk to me today. Um, we hear that Wimbledon have, uh, have opened their courts now and, uh, and this signals the beginning uh, of, the, of the season and the run-up to Wimbledon. How do you feel that uh, players cope with their first time out playing at a tournament as big as Wimbledon? Uh, generally, poorly. Uh, it's it's kind of like the Olympics. I think less than 20% of athletes uh, uh, hit a career best at the Olympics the first time that they get there. And it's basically because the event is, is, is enormous. And for a lot of players, it's been a goal in their mind for since they were little kids. And it's just such an enormous achievement in their mind to get there. Uh, and no matter how much you try to prepare them, no matter what tricks and tools you use, I think it really comes down to an independent personality who really understands that this is just uh, another rung on the ladder and an opportunity. And even those who do realize that and, and really believe that they're going to have a, a good career in tennis and it's just the first of many, the, the amount of texting and the amount of uh, attention that they get leading up to the, the first match that they play uh, generally shreds their energy and by the time they get out there they're either flat because so much energy has gone out the door or they've over adrenalized themselves and you know just manic and their, their brains just aren't there for you know the first half an hour 45 minutes of the match which generally puts them so far behind that 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 they that they don't get a result so it, it is very very difficult first time out and when someone like a Nadal wins French Open the first time that, he, that he's out there is just, you know, mentally uh, a magnificent achievement because it is so unusual for, for players to be at their very best uh, first time at a major event. It, it's, it's just enormously difficult. Do I take it, I mean, that's the key difference between the real top end players and, and, and the ones lower down is that they have this ability to, to, to see the match as just another match and not as a Wimbledon match. Yes, and I think they also see it as an opportunity to show what they've got. And so, you know, you know I think it was Andy Murray in his first Wimbledon made the fourth round. Uh, and, and he did shred and, and he was mentally very tired by the time he got there. Uh, but he, he had done enough to announce his presence really on the world stage. and. and and the really best players do that. I think last year, year Janovic, although it wasn't his first uh, uh, major uh, tournament, I think it was his first main draw of Wimbledon, and he made the semi-finals. But in the semi-finals, he shredded. You know, so it's really, really unusual for somebody to go the whole way and win it. You know, I mean, even McEnroe when he came through, you know, uh, qualifying and made semi-finals, and 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 got crushed by Connors in in the semi-finals, probably wasn't quite at that level yet uh, but also the, the, the adrenaline and, and all of the, the, the hullabaloo that goes around it and the media attention and everything like that eventually uh, gets to them because they're just not used to managing their energy and their time and the way they handle things uh, you know and that comes with experience. Do you feel that, 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 that those players that have won Wimbledon then Maybe hit a bit of sort of an anticlimax after that, and and then struggle with the with the all the fame and the attention that comes with it, and that then affects their their their, their sort of potential repeat performance in subsequent years. Uh, yes, I mean, there's no question that that yeah that there have been a, a number of players who, when they win their first Grand Slam, often go on to have a a, a pretty poor year or or 18 months after that because they're just getting used to their new status and being world stars and, and it really does uh, 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 kind of catch them unawares, I think. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, our own Andy Murray has, has struggled since he won Wimbledon. I think, uh, you know, a player dreams about winning Wimbledon and then they work incredibly hard and even if they believe that they can win Wimbledon, you know, once they've actually done it, I think there's still an element of surprise there that, oh my God, I have actually done it. 
and there's also the fact that when you strive so hard for something and you finally do it uh, there's definitely a letdown and it's like oh my god what next you know I've achieved the goal that I've set out for and put so much focus and so much of my life into it now I've got it you know what next and uh, and that usually takes a little bit of time for them to to process that in their mind and then you know come again and and be able to 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 maybe repeat and it'll be very interesting to see whether Andy you know uh, by the time he steps out there and, and sometimes actually stepping out on that center court again you know brings back all those good feelings and everything and suddenly he relaxes and feels it again and 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 will go and and be very very strong in the tournament uh, but his mind will have have to have come to terms of of of, of creating that as a new goal to actually you know win multiple Wimbledons and multiple Grand Slams and and start playing I think a little bit more for a bigger slice of history than than you know one Wimbledon title so the next few months is going to be a very interesting couple of months oh uh, e extremely interesting because uh, you know certainly at the top of the men's game you've got Fedra who's kind of been rejuvenated by by his work with uh, Ed Berg and uh, and it's you know again his his wife just had uh, some more kids, but I think by Wimbledon he'll he'll be ready. You got Nadal who's had two poor Wimbledons in a row, who's going to really want to do something. You got Djokovic who obviously uh, will want to win another one, and you got Murray who's going to want to defend. Uh, and and I think it we'll, we'll see a lot even through the lead-up tournaments like Queens as to where Murray's head is at because I think. Uh, I think he's really struggled to, so far, to come to grips with having having achieved that. Uh, Vavrinka, who won Australia, had a bit of a wobble, but he seems to be back on it now. Uh, and uh, you know, it's uh, again, it's individually so important. You know how the personality deals with with these situations. Okay, thank you very much. Pleasure.